What's up, guys? It's me, Chance. Um, I got a couple of things I want to discuss, but there is one main thing that I do want to discuss with everybody. And it's something that not a lot of people really, you know, understand. And that is the fact of why it is that I am, you know, so afraid to post my art. Or even, you know, sell it anymore. Like, it's beyond the point of, you know, just posting it. It's actually selling it as well. And you guys are probably thinking, well, what's the reason? Well, some of you might already know the reason. And the main reason why I'm so afraid to even, you know, post any of my abstract artwork up or even sell it isn't because, you know, I don't want to. It's not that I don't want to make a living off it. I would love to make a living off my art. But the reason why I'm not able to do so is because of people constantly, you know, stealing my art, uh, removing the watermark off of it, and then taking it, making me look like a fake, and then turning around and reselling it. Um, you guys probably think, well, just put a watermark on it, put a watermark on it. Well, what you guys don't realize is the game of the art in doing art, you know, that realm has changed in major ways. Like, for me, my watermark is basically like me signing my name. That's basically what that is. But what people don't realize is it's so easy to steal someone's artwork and, you know, say it's yours and then make money off of that person's art. And that's ultimately why I'm so afraid to even post it or even sell it anymore. Because honestly, I would love, I would love to retire from music, which is one thing I'm not making much money at. You know, I would love to retire from music and focus solely on, you know, my abstract paintings and stuff and making a killing off of that. Because I know that with the right stuff, like with the right people and the right help, I can make a killing off my art. I can live off of selling art. But the reason why I can't do that is, you know, because people want to be assholes steal my artwork, claim it as their own, and then make me look like a fake, and then I get judged for it, and I get hounded, and I get harassed. Every time. You know, and I didn't ask for it. I never asked to be harassed. I didn't ask to have my art stolen. I did not have my ass. I did not ask to have my artwork stolen from me. But it happens. All the time. And like I said, people don't realize that the art industry has changed in such a huge way. You know, no more do we do it on paper. Everything's gone digital now. And I would rather do it on paper, but I have to do it how I can right now. Hey, what's up, Randy? Hey, what's up, Becca? What's up, Sam? But, like, you know, my artwork, like, that's what I am best at above all else. You know, that's what I excel at, you know, and believe it or not, art runs in my blood. You know, half my family either draws, paints, or something. Matter of fact, my great-grandmother actually wrote a book and actually and self-published it and did the artwork for it many years ago. And, you know, both of my older sisters draw, my cousin draws, uh, a lot of my nieces and nephews draw. So, you know, art runs in my blood. Literally, it runs through my veins. And, you know, and people don't realize, you know, that my work is my own. It runs through my blood. I mean, would I like to retire from music and focus solely on my artwork? Yes, I would. 
Um, I really would, but due to a lot of these art thieves that are constantly stealing my work and all these trolls constantly bashing, you know, it's it's hard to deal with. It's something I should never have to deal with. You know, no artist should have to deal with a troll like that, especially when you post up your artwork to sell, to make real money off of. Nobody should have to deal with being trolled. You know, and that's something I deal with daily. And to those art thieves out there, if you are, if you are, you know, watching this, I just want to know why you feel like I have to be your target. Like, what y'all don't realize is when you steal somebody's artwork like that, you're not only stealing their art, you're stealing money away from them. You're stealing money away from their family. You're stealing, you know, food out of their kids' mouths. Because a lot of the artists that I know that I'm very good friends with have kids. So when you guys go out and you steal art from somebody, you're stealing money away from their families. And that's not fair. Like, you want to be a good artist, do like I did. Bust your ass at it. Practice. And what y'all don't realize is those watermarks that we leave on art pieces, those don't mean anything to these thieves. They don't care about watermarks. To them, that's just something for them to remove. They don't care about anything except themselves, and that's not fair. You know, I've built my reputation the long, hard way. I started doing digital artwork back in 2005. Back when, you know, YouTube was brand new. Um, you know, the art scene was just coming around at that time. So, you know, I got in on that. You know, I was part of that movement. I was part of, you know, that digital art revolution. You know, I was part of that. And I'm proud to say that I was part of that. And, you know, over the years in doing, you know, my art, I've not only, you know, gained the respect and support of major actors like Jason David Frank, but I've also come to be part of one of the biggest, one of the biggest art groups in the world, which is the Art Alliance crew, which is one of the biggest, you know, art crews in the world. And honestly, I'm proud to say I'm part of that. And what the Art Alliance crew is, is they do, you know, painting, uh, drawing, they do digital art, they do photography, they do ice sculptures, they do everything. And, you know, and I can honestly say that, yes, I am very honored and humbled to be a part of that. A part of one of the biggest crews and part of the biggest group that, you know, I grew up enjoying the art of since I was a kid. You know, everything from their graffiti work to their fine art, like, I enjoy it all. I even enjoy a lot of their makeup work, because a lot of their makeup tutorials and what they do makeup-wise, like, I actually draw on a lot of that to gain the colors for some of my pieces. So a little something for you art thieves to think about. Next time you go to steal someone's art, think about what you're taking from them. You're not only taking their piece from them, but you're also stealing food out of their family's mouths as well as money that helps them to live. But like I said, guys, I do want to release my art again. I do want to jump back onto that so bad. But unless somebody helps getting me in the right direction, the right way and actually pushes my work out there and, you know, keeps these haters off my back, 
how am I supposed to make any money doing what I'm truly good at, what I'm meant to do? See, career-wise, I'm meant to do music, but job-wise, like my source of income, I want that source of income to be my artwork. But unless I get the proper help, how can I do that? How can I get the proper help? How can I get the customers to come to me when people are always stealing my art and making me look like a bad guy, making me look like a thief, saying that I'm a fraud, that I'm a fake, that I'm a phony, when really they're the bad guys. They're the ones that are doing this shit, not me. Because let me tell you something, I've never once stolen a piece of art. Whether it's digital, whether it's regular, no matter what, I've never stolen any art from anyone. On the contrary to what, you know, most believe about me with my art, I can guarantee you those lies about me stealing it aren't true. Okay, I'm an honest, hardworking artist. Okay, when I'm not sitting here gaming out with my friends or working on music, you can usually almost always find me doing some form of artwork. That's that's me. That's who I am. That's what I do. Because like I said, I want to make money off my art. More than anything, I want that. But as I said, how can I do that with people constantly stealing my art and being unfair to me and unfair to those that actually want to purchase my art? Like, where is that fair? I don't understand. Oh, pardon me. I mean, I know a lot of people say, you know, put watermarks on it, but like I said before, watermarks don't do anything. Uh, yeah, they're a way of putting your, you know, your name on it and stuff, and that's all well and good. But when you're like me and you don't have any money, what good is a watermark? A watermark is basically useless. But I do hope that you guys understand how why I'm not really able to sell my art like I want. And it kills me. It eats me up inside so bad. But anyway, guys, I do hope that this, you know, tells you guys why. And I hope you guys gain something from this. But with that being said, I love you guys, and I will see you guys later. And if you guys do know anybody that can help get me in the right direction, the right way, as far as my art goes, please send them my way, because I can use all the help I can get. Peace.